machine that I'm standing in front of is making a new hang filter every second the entire time that this massive warehouse is running and operating. And this is a filter for a 3.6 liter VR6, the Vura. So welcome to Münster, the home of Hanks. Literally, this is where it all started 60 some years ago. And now we're gonna find out where this filter came from. I am nerding out already. Join me while we literally go and learn so much nerd information about filters and then specifically Hanks filters. hear about it we're just we're, we're playing by the rules but this machine and my lovely lovely tour guide has just told me all about it without bothering the workers because this is a real factory this is the filter material this is literally it it's rolling as you can see goes through here gets heated up then this is where it gets extra cool this machine stamps the perforation so as you can see it goes in entirely smooth and comes out much slower and perforated. So that's the first part of the process. Then goes through here, gets all sorts of funky things done to it. And now it comes out here. And this this is I say really interesting. It's not only gone this way, but all of the horizontal cutouts are done as well. And if we take a look, see if we can grab a piece and we can explain that to you right now. So, um, you work for Hanks, but what is your name? Hi, I'm Michael. I'm in the, uh, in the industrial engineering of the Hanks company. And uh, now I have to show you, or I can show you uh, something of our cleats here. Just to nerd out, when I pulled the filter out for my own car, you knew immediately because you owned a Touareg and you changed yes. your own oil. Yes, I do it for myself <laughs> already, yes. So, one of us, well done. <laughs> All right. Now you can see here the pleat or the, the pleat at the embossing roller. We are producing these, these lines here. And uh, after the embossing roller, we have to start to put it on and uh, to get the pleats like this. So you can see. And uh, maybe if you can see it here, we have here some, some small stands, some, some embosses. You can get a package that you have some small spaces where the, the fluid can go in. So uh, you don't have the case like this that uh, the fluid couldn't get through the filter media. Which is something that I've seen happen. You, you probably removed an open non-cartridge filter and seen that happen where it's all crushed together on a cheaper filter. And I didn't know that there was actual science involved. You have designed a way to keep it separated and it's that's it. That machine that we just walked past in 30 seconds, that's its entire job. That's so cool. Yeah. All right, we're gonna move on because there's lots more parts for a filter. Uh, I think this tub here is a little example of it. So here is, this is gonna be a filter. This is where the filters come out. Now, what you'll see is they come out four by two by two, so there's four in a patch. But that means all of them have passed inspection. And for German privacy laws, I'm not gonna show you all of the workers doing it, but every single filter is inspected by hand. Now, okay, I'm wearing a Volkswagen mask. These are BMW OE filters. So these are going to BMW in the BMW packaging, because that's what Hanks does for Porsche, for Volkswagen, for BMW. Again, another batch of four, but if one is missing, it's because behind me, every single one of these oil filters is inspected by hand, literally by hand. And they just showed me what they're looking for and the imperfection that they will spot in one second with the dexterity of a trained inspector. I would not be able to tell 
in five minutes of looking at the filter. Okay, they're all too good for, for, but trust me, I have literally watched them pull one out, do this to it, and fail it. And he gets set, put in a separate box. So every single Hank filter inspected by hand here in Germany, I, I cannot explain to you how mind blowing that is. Well, I don't know if that was four or that was just a mismatch or something, but either way. Another, another double four. All right, I can't show you a bad one because they're taking off already. Let's keep going with the tour. All right, as we're sitting here next to a micrometer, which is my favorite thing to see in a factory, let's go actually really simple. So this is for a vacuum cleaner um, for Miele. They like a German manufacturer of vacuums. But you know when you've got your shop vac and it fills up with crud in here and you take it outside and you bang it against a wall and it like spreads dirt everywhere? Look at this. You turn this, you hear it? Sorry, I just broke your speakers. Inside, there's a little circular cylinder, circular cylinder, doing well, Jamie. But it has two little arms that go through and hit the element, knocking all the crud out to keep the filter running longer. This is sensational. Why does my Craftsman shop vet not have this? And how do we go from BMW oil filters to vacuum cleaners? And we've literally gone 100 meters. This, this is wild. I, I had no idea. And then yes, micrometer, favorite thing to see in any factory. But on with the tour while I continue to blow mines. Another genius point. Um, this is the filter material that you just showed me. The one that we can use to shake out for the vacuum, but you can't tear it. It's, it's so strong, yeah, it's, which is wild. I'm used to oil filters and yeah, easy yeah. to destroy. But you would have no idea. It just destroy. looks and feels normal, but crazy. But this is, this is wild. I just keep saying that over and over again, but I had no idea. So Hanks really do make everything in here. So this is the extruder for the plastic molding which comes out through here gets lifted across and there's the housing so let's go and see what it is i cannot believe just how much is made in-house it is absolutely wild so let's scoot past this machine <laughs> and go over here can you tell what it is yet yeah it's an oil filter housing this one specifically is mercedes and genuine oe quality but it comes out and it even has the o-ring already put on it we can see the o-rings over there it's absolutely wild this this is going to go on either a brand new mercedes engine or into a mercedes box as a spare part completely made in house the filter inside the o-ring the plastic housing it's it's unbelievable i can't stop my mind being blown over and over again but here it is Decton O-ring with the OEM part number completely made here in the same factory. So this is the showroom inside the factory. And well, let's, there's so much to talk about. Crankcase ventilation. So this is the E343HD476 catchy title, but it's an OEM Volkswagen filter. The exact same filter goes with the Volkswagen box or the Hanks box if it's going OEM or direct, yeah, whoever you're buying it from but it's the exact same filter. The only difference is that top piece that we looked at would have a different laser etching. Complete housings with the cooling systems, everything. But this is actually, all right, you recognize this VR6, blah, blah, blah. Not this one, but the same style. This was invented by Hengst, and now they're gonna bring it, in theory, to other engines. So instead of a spin-on, you could have a cartridge-style insert. Really, really fascinating. If that comes out for the Volkswagen 8-valve, 16-valve, AP, that would be amazing. All right. Over here, you can see all of the housings. we are really got to rush because this cast aluminum is what we're going to go and check out right now. Let's go. The actual original starting place of Hangs, where we just were, welcome to about 20 minutes down the road. They're going to mail some aluminum. Very excited for this. Very excited. Massive Hangs trucks as well, which they make models of. How German is that? Models of trucks. Such a great land. So inside that beautiful yellow Hanks building, well, here's this raw aluminum or aluminum. We're being American about it. Straight up aluminum. 
Julian. This is unbelievable. And then as I turn around, and this is Hall, it literally goes in there. There, <laughs> there's the heat resistant suit. And look at the melted aluminum for where it gets pushed in. So I am not kidding when we say all of these oil filter housings are made in here because that's an oil filter housing. It doesn't look like it yet, but it's gonna go in there, get melted, and then moved over, and that's what we're going to check out. The size of the machine, this one is not operating right now, but you can see it's big enough for, well, a human being to be stamped into the shape of an oil filter housing. But as we walk over here, this machine is going to be running 24-7, and it literally takes the hot aluminum right in there. You can see the offcuts of it. And it gets injected into there, melted and molded. And this arm, there's one that just came out. So right now it's getting, and I, I can't get closer than this, but here we go. Right now those lasers are measuring to make sure that everything came out just right. And if it passes that test, it's gonna come over here to this bandsaw. Which, once it's done, hopefully we'll get to catch it. But this bandsaw is nothing special. It's just a regular, big old bandsaw. But this robotic arm is gonna use it to trim out all of the excess cast marks. And then it's gonna knock the casting excess off on the edge of the slide. Which is just super ingenious. Here we go. Right. So this is where everything is deburred and made sure it's all perfect, but here's the exact piece that we just saw being made. What an intricate, amazing piece that we literally just watched be a piece of molten aluminium. Look at how intricate it is. Unbelievable that just right over there, that was melted out of a, a raw lump of aluminum and now it's just sitting here it's amazing all right let's play a game of guess what this whole assembly line makes if you're a volkswagen or an audi 2.0 tsi ea triple eight or tech any tsi you will know this part very well but here right now the very latest revisions made by hangs let's start with some tiny little screws springs it's been a long day i've been on a flight give me a break so look at all of these tiny little parts coming along oh can you see it yet so every part of it is made here oh there's another giveaway and well you might recognize this if you've ever taken one apart but there it is the very very latest revision of the breather the top of the valve cover breather there's that little NATO insert we talked about you will know this part very well i'm yeah i'm just gonna 
all the little tiny parts that are all made right here in Germany for this. Absolutely amazing. And this is OEM VW with the VW Audi logo on it. Great off the production one. Super, super cool. See what I found. Well, this, this, I'm a little speechless. I love factories. I love mechanization. I love seeing the human interaction with the parts and where they come from. And this has been a very, very brief insight. Not an advert by any means, although I do love tanks and I love working with them. But this is where the filters come from. And not just that, this is where OEM Volkswagen parts come from, but also the aftermarket. So the filter in your car, the Golf R, comes with a Hengst breather. It comes with a, a Hengst oil filter housing. It comes with a Hengst oil filter. And this is where it comes from. This is literally where it all comes from. It, it's mind blowing thinking about an oil filter, how many different parts go into it, and that every single different material comes from somewhere inside one of these two factories that we just visited. Now, Hanks does have factories all over the world because they keep everything in-house. So, for instance, I know I've had filters from, from Europe, from the Far East, from all over the place, but they are all their own factories, and I can't believe that they have just let me run wild. I saw aluminium being melted and turned into an oil filter housing. This is a dream. This is almost a lifetime dream. And then to go and find this production line here with the OE VW parts, it, it, it's almost indescribable. I am a kid in a candy store and just to learn another part of what goes into the production and assembly of these things that we absolutely love. So massive, massive thanks to, to Hanks for doing this. Um, you can choose a Hanks filter, you can choose a variety of other filters. There are multiple OE suppliers. Um, but just for the sheer coolness alone of this, never mind what we have seen for the quality, please choose, choose a Hanks filter the next time you're on your favorite online e-tailer or parts ordering system. Uh, it's, it's unbelievable. I am blown away. I was already an enthusiast, the family history, Mr. Hanks from when Porsche racing became a Porsche OE supplier. But to what it has become today and to what they've allowed me to experience and share is, is unbelievable. So for now, from inside one of the main Hanks factories in the world, in the town that they were founded in, in Münster, Germany, I'm going to say Auf Wiedersehen. I'm gonna jump back into my car and drive off to the next adventure here in Germany. But what a, what a way to start. Unbelievable. So anyway, uh, danke schön, Hanks. I really appreciate it. Uh, thank you for tuning in. And we'll see you next time for some more Volkswagen and car fun.